a few days since I did a little garden update. We've had some good rain. We've had even a few storms. So I thought I'd bring you this little update. Here is a tomato plant that I had actually started him. He was what is known as a sucker. I cut him off of one of my tomato plants and started him and planted him and now I'm going to have another plant out of that. So when you do have to trim off one of those, you can always get more free food, another free plant by just trying to put him in the ground and see if, if that works. Um, I started him actually in a little water but transplanted him out here and he's taken off so he's doing good. Uh, there's our sweet potatoes after the rain, so keeping an eye on those. Our romaine lettuce is looking good still. So far, so good. I actually tried to plant another little starter uh, tomato right there. And right now he's looking kind of pitiful, but we'll see if he springs back. Uh, again, it never hurts to try. I did that on the spur of the moment. We've got still our little beans coming up back there. Not very many, a few. We've got a nasturtium there in the middle. Some little companion plants there. Um, these little things I started from scraps, I'm leaving there because basically I had some little worms getting on those. So I'd rather leave them there and let the worms feed off of them than them go, me root them up and take them, you know, the little worms go to my beans. So I'm just kind of leave them there for them to feed on and munch on. And I'm still trying to use my Dawn water and that's helping contain them as well. And got a few little cherry tomatoes back there coming on. My little ch cherry tomato there. He's looking good. I believe he's a husky cherry red. This little pepper plant started from a seed. So he's doing well. And there's my rosemary. Got some basil over here. My little peas, they're really latching on. They're climbing up their little trellis, which makes me happy. Uh, still got some green onions coming up. Um, you know, these are just hit and miss. I got a few. Um, so, again, just a learning experience. My peppers here, I've got one. It's medium size. He's not quite ready yet. Uh, if you look over here at my green zucchini squash, he's looking very happy this morning. And you'll peep down in here with me. He's got some good green squash growing on him. Some zucchinis there, if you can see those. And I've got some really good ones back in here, too. I don't know if you can see those. There's one back there. He's getting pretty big. Let's see if I can give you another view. Right back in there, see him, how big he is. I may or may not cut him today. So there's some in there going really good. Uh, here is my Christmas poinsettia, believe it or not. Out here doing good. This is another little volunteer plant that I had come up in this pot. It's actually a marigold from last year. So I've let him grow. And in here, this makes me so happy. I've got a little sunflower seed coming up in this little cinder block thing. And I put this little uh, cage over it because I had a varmint trying to fight me over my sunflower seeds. And some of these that I have planted, they have dug up. So I replanted and then I came back with reinforcements <laughs> to try to protect them. Because I love sunflowers. And right back here, if you will see, I've got a little sunny coming up right there. I'm so happy about that. So excited. A few of them they did get, they did win, but they didn't get them all. So that's just a, a few little things. Now let's go on to look at our little butternut squash hill. So here's our little butternut squash that we just planted the other day. And I think it was on July the 2nd that I planted these, July 1st or 2nd, and so today, I think what is the 8th, so these came up about six days after I planted them, 
and now they have got this big in just a few days. So hopefully I'm gonna have some good butternut squash ready by October. Maybe a little sooner, we'll see. Over here, the yellow squash we planted, he was just a little guy when I brought him home the other day and planted him and he's really taken off really good. And over here, our second hill of butternut squash seeds coming up, making their appearance. So happy about that as well. Now let's go check on our yellow squash and our cucumber. So here we are at the yellow squash. And this guy, today is day number 25 since I planted him. And he has, as of last night, I counted up, yesterday was day number 24. I counted up how many yellow squash that I have gotten off of him in 24 days last night. 23 yellow squash in 24 days. And, like I said, today's day number 25. I want you to look how many more that he's almost got ready. There's a good one right there. Look at all the others coming on. They are just abundant. So yesterday, come out here and checked. Had a few little slugs on my uh, yellow squash. So came around with some Epsom salts. Look at there. Look at there. Just a lot of little yellow squash coming on there. There's another little baby. Coming down here, looking. This is another little happy hub. Oop, there's a little ball nugger. Hello there, friend. Hello. Yeah, get in there and do your good stuff. So, I've got some more squash there. I'm not going to disturb him too much. He's got work to do. So, like I said, very, very, very productive plant right there. One plant has ended. 24 days giving me 23 squash. <laughs> Pollinator's getting a lag of my Um, So, uh, that's not bad. That's not a bad return for planting one plant. I think I paid maybe $4 for him. Look at there. There he goes. He's doing his hard little work. Keep up the good work. Okay, we've got our cucumbers in here. And you never know what you're going to find in the cucumber hill. Didn't have any red yesterday. So, I think I've got some little ones there. There's another one if you see him. So, here's another one over here. You can see him. I'm zooming in on the right spot there. But yeah, I see several. I don't know that they'll be ready today. But still, good. You can hear the little happy hummers. You know, just buzzing around there. Doing their thing. That's always a good, good sign. So, got lots of little cucumbers still growing there on the vine. So, happy about that as well. Anyway, just want to give you this little update. Um, got a... I had another little sunflower over here. Oh! Nope, his seed is exposed. I'm going to have to bury him again. So, something's still after it. Um, but anyway, all is not lost. I will cover him back up and try again. Our little tomatoes over here. Got one ripening on the vine. Got lots of little uh, cherry tomatoes still back here growing and coming on. So, all is good. So, happy gardening. Have a great day, y'all.